I want to give you five steps, five scriptural steps to be free from sexual immorality and every related perversion. And I want you to please listen and learn for yourself and for anybody God may give you the privilege of helping. Are we together? Number one, for you to be free from lust and immorality, the first thing that must happen to you is that you must admit it. For you to be free from lust and sexual immorality and any expression of it, you must get to a point of admittance that I need help. My life needs the mercy of God. Step number two, very quickly. If you are learning, say amen. amen. Step number two, you must set aside time for a retreat as soon as possible. Set aside time for a retreat. A retreat gives you the platform to pray, to study scripture, to fast, and to be broken and repentant before God your maker. Number three, where it persists and is still beyond your control, you must seek help. You must seek help. You must be honest enough to seek help. Do you know that in seeking help, I submit to you that there are many people who desire to seek help. But the reason is, history has shown that especially we men of God, have not sustained the kind of intelligence and maturity to manage people's private and painful issues. Is that true? There are many people who have been wounded because they came and opened up to their prophet, their man of God, and said, listen, I think there is something I'm struggling with. Prayer partners, accountability partners, mentors, men of God, have in many regards disappointed the trust that people have had for them. That is the reason why you see today, people have resorted to flying abroad and going to go and meet therapists, at least who will deal with it professionally and don't even know you. Rather than coming to cry to say, man of God, I think there is a challenge in my life. Many of us will pray and say, oh, let's pray. Father, the devil cannot take over this person. And later on, before evening, you have told your wife as a spouse, you have told your husband, ah, this is our prayer group, my God. God is bringing a lot of deliverance. You see the problem now? And then the person will tell another person and say, don't tell anybody. I would deny, I don't know you when anything backfires. Let me tell you the truth. It takes more than being anointed to help people. You must be trained. We must incorporate this in our mentorship platforms as we build people. Anointing and revelation is not the only thing that qualifies for spiritual leadership. People must sustain psychological knowledge, the maturity and the know-how to manage sensitive things. Some of these people are in positions where managing and dealing with these issues can have severe effects on them, their organizations, their platforms. You're a man of God here listening or within this place. We must know that when people open their pain up to you, it is a trust you must protect. Are we learning? Key number four is what many people avoid and ignore. And it is the reason why their deliverance is not complete. Number four, create rules and boundaries in and around your life. Create rules and boundaries in and around your life. Proverbs 25 and verse 28, please. He that had no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. Create rules. It's not enough to repent before God. It's not enough to now be renewed in your decision. There are systems that you must create, especially for sexual immorality. Sexual immorality is highly atmosphere dependent. You cannot stand and sleep with somebody in front of a police station or in front of a law court. The atmosphere is not right. It may be difficult to sleep with somebody when Don Moen is playing. hallelujah now please write please write let's let's get to work there's a lot for us to do don't just laugh i hope he's entering you tonight there is no tell them god is speaking to all of us 
Are we together? Pay attention, please. So, the final encouragement for you is connect to a larger family of believers. Community kingdom living is the key to sustaining kingdom values. Community kingdom living is the key to sustaining kingdom values. So let me run through the step finally that to be free from the spirit of lust, sexual immorality, masturbation, pornography, and all kinds of vices, whatever it is. The first thing is you must admit that there is need for help. Number two, you must be able to set a time of retreat, of brokenness, repentance before God. Number three, seek help. Number four, you must create rules and boundaries in and around your life. And then number five, connect to a larger family of believers. Has God helped someone? Please lay your hand on your head in one minute and cry to the Lord. Father, I obtain mercy. Preserve me. Go ahead and pray. Preserve me. Preserve me. If the message has hit you and perhaps your life has been that way, do not be discouraged. Remember, the one who God loves is the one he chastises. Lord, I obtain grace. Someone is praying. I obtain grace. Deliver me from sexual immorality. Deliver me from lust. For you, it may not be sexual immorality, but how about lust? ungodly thoughts that roam around your mind seeking for an opportunity to be executed you can live and walk in freedom please pray you are praying from the depth of your heart for some of you is drunkenness alcoholism some of you drugs and all kinds of vices the purified bride must be free from this don't say it does not matter the purified church must obtain grace from God Please pray. Doesn't matter whether you are a pastor, apostle, prophet. God can give you a new beginning. Provided your heart is open to cry. You are following online. You are watching from any nation. I'd like you to pray. This is not a message unto condemnation. It is a sincere admittance that will lead to purity, holiness, and lift you to a higher level of spiritual exploits. Someone is praying. Lord, show me mercy. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. I cry unto you. Pray that those who are bound by any and all kinds of addictions, let it be broken in the name of Jesus. You are praying for yourself and you are praying for them. Praying for the body of Christ. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name I pray.